Hello everyone, I'm João Marcos from That's Brilliant. In this video, we're going, to have, uh, we're going to have another video on calculus. In this video, we're going to mathematically prove the derivative of the function a to the x. And we're going to, to have this video because uh, we're going to have another future video, uh, that our third video, mathematically proving the derivative of e to the x. And in that video, we're going to need to use this derivative. So we're going to prove the derivative of a to the x uh, before in this video, before we see the other video. So here, a is just a constant. It's a number, but we're representing it generically as a. And we want to take the derivative of a to the x with respect to x. So we can write, we have the function f of x equals a to the x where a is just a constant and we want to know the derivative of this function which is prime f prime of x f prime of x and in order to do this in order to prove this the derivative of, the fun of this function we're going to use a mathematical manipulation and we're going to relate it to the number e and remembering e is just a constant it's another constant and it's also called the, the Euler number and its value is approximately 2.7. And we use this number a lot in calculus because uh, taking the derivative and integ integrating functions related to this number is very easy. For example, the derivative of the logarithm base e of x is 1 over x. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The integral uh, of e to the x dx is e to the x. So, the, the uh, functions in cal functions related to e in calculus have have derivatives and integrals very simple uh, and this number appears naturally in calculus and we have a video uh, proving that showing how this number appears naturally in calculus whose link I'm going to put in the description below so our manipulation is going to be we are going to say that a to the x is equal to e raise it to natural log of a to the x. And this is a property of logarithms. So uh, natural log is the logarithm base e. So natural log of, e, of a to the x is logarithm base e of a to the x. And uh, why is this uh, true? Because what is this logarithm asking? This logarithm is asking to which power I raise e, which is the base, in order to reach a to the x? And the answer is uh, the answer is what this algorithm is asking. It's asking to which number we uh, raise e, which is the base, in order to reach a to the x. And then we are raising e to that number. So obviously we're going to be to reach a to the x because we are raising e to the number to, uh, that if you, we raise e to that number, we reach a to the x. So uh, I hope that's clear, but it's a property of logarithms. So for example, natural log, which is logarithm base e of a to the x, it's asking to which number we raise e in order to, e, to reach, to e out, a to the x, and then we are raising e to this number, so we are going to reach e to the x. So, uh, we are going to rewrite our function here. Uh, we are going to, to erase this. So, f of x is going to be equal to uh, e raised to natural log of e to the x. And here we are going to use another property of logarithms, and I am going to put this x here. So a property, another property of logarithms says that if we have an exponent on the argument of the logarithm, we can uh, put this exponent multiplying the logarithm. So it's basically doing this. It's a property of logarithms. So uh, now we're going to take the derivative of this function, which is exactly the same thing as this first one. So uh, f prime of x is what we want equals and uh, now we are going to use the chain rule because we want to know the derivative of this function here of this whole function so uh, in order to use the chain rule 
and we're going to do uh, in all these steps. So we're going to create a variable u, which is equal to x natural log of a. So uh, uh, the f prime of x, which is the derivative of this function, is equal to the derivative of e raised to x natural log of a. And the chain rule uh, says that basically we take the derivative of, of the outside function and multiply it by the, the, the derivative of the inside function. In simple words, in writing, we have that the derivative of this function is equal to the derivative with respect to u of v to the u times the derivative of u with respect, with respect to x. So the derivative of, of the outside function multiplied by the derivative of the inside function. This is the chain rule, right? And uh, we have, we know that the derivative with respect to x, dgx of each to the x, is the same thing, it's each to the x. So the derivative with, with respect to u of e to the u is e to the u. So this is equal to e to the u. And then we multiply it by the derivative of u with respect to x, with respect to x. And uh, the derivative of u with respect to x is exactly uh, natural log of a. And why is that? Now, well, let's change the order here. u is equal to natural log of a times x. And we want to take the derivative of this, u dx. And um, notice that natural log of a is just a constant. Natural log of a is just the logarithm base z of a. And e is a constant, approximately 2.7. a is also a constant. So this here is a constant. It has a numerical value. We are not using numbers here, but uh, this, this has, if we put numbers here, th this represents a numerical value. So this is a constant. And if you take the derivative, for example, ggx of 2x, this is equal to 2. The derivative with respect to x of uh, 100 times x, this is 100. Because this is a constant, this is a constant. 2, two is a constant, and 100 is a constant. And natural log of a is also a constant. So the derivative with respect, with respect to x of natural log of a times x is equal to natural log of a. So uh, this is true. So okay, uh, going on. E raised to u, what's u? u is uh, x times natural log of a, it's u. So it, this is equal to e raised to u, which is x natural log of a, e raised to natural log of a to the x. I'm going in the opposite direction of the property. Now I'm going, I am taking a number, multiplying the logarithm, and putting this number as the exponent of the argument of the logarithm and doing the reverse way. And here, as we have uh, seen, uh, e raised to natural log of h to the x is equal to h to the x. And this is multiplied by natural log of a. So e to the u is this thing, is this here, and natural log of a. So this is equal to, uh, as, we, as we saw, e raised to natural log of h to the x is equal to h to the x. So this is h to the x, and times natural log of a. And this is the derivative of v uh, of this function, a to the x. So rewriting it, uh, if we have the derivative with respect to x of a to the x, this is equal to a to the x times natural log of a. And this is the mathematical proof we want to make in this video. And this is the math, this is the derivative we're going to need to make the third derivative, the third mathematical proof of, of the derivative of h to the x. So again, the derivative with, with respect to x of h to the x 
is equal to h dx, that means times natural log of a. So this is it. Thank you very much for watching and I see you in the next videos.